Hi everyone! This lesson is about recognizing the elements of a play. Our objectives are define what a play is and identify the different elements of a play. First, what is a play? A play is a piece of writing which can be seen at a theater or on television or heard on the radio. Plays often show conversations between people. They can be based on both non-fictional and fictional works like the Broadway version of Disney's Frozen. We have many different types of play. First type is the tragedy, which usually ends in a sad note, like a character's death. One famous example of this would be The Tragedy of Macbeth, written by William Shakespeare. We also have the comedy, which is meant to amuse the audience. It has elements of humor in it and usually ends on a happy note. An example of this would be Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. We also have the domestic play, which is based on the normal life of family and friends. Example would be the Broadway musical Annie. A tragic comedy is a fictional work that is both happy and sad. It's also called a problem comedy. An example of tragic comedy would be The Merchant of Venice, also written by William Shakespeare. Another type of play would be the melodrama, which is often with exaggerated characters and episodes with song and music. Melodramas usually focus more on conversations rather than actions. Example of this would be the French play, The Poor of New York. Next, we go to the elements of a play. First, we have the playwright, which is the name for the author of the play. Some of our famous playwrights would be William Shakespeare, Henrik Ibsen, Tennessee Williams, and Anton Chekhov. Second, we have the actors. These are the people who perform on stage for a play. So they may perform the characters of real or fictional persons and animals. Third is the script, which is the written pages of a play divided into acts and scenes. Without the script, the actors would not know what to do or what to say on stage. Fourth, we have the acts, which are long sections of a play. Acts are made up of scenes, which are short sections of a play. Scenes put together would make up an act, and acts put together would make up an entire play. We also have the set, which is the construction of a play that shows the time and place. Take a look at this example. This is the Broadway musical version of The Lion King. The set is that of a jungle. Props would be the items used by an actor on stage, and that would include the costumes as well. So since our set in The Lion King would be that of a jungle, we can expect that the props used and the costumes used would be animals and everything related to nature. We also have the dialogue, which would be two or more actors talking. The dialogue would be the conversation in a play. Next, we have the stage directions. They describe the scenery, the actions, or how characters should speak. For example, when starting a play, should we dim the lights? Also, what kinds of actions should the characters perform while they are dancing? Which props should they be holding? How should they speak? Should they speak in a booming manner or in a gentle way? Let's wrap it up. A play is a work of drama, usually consisting of a dialogue between characters and intended for theatrical performance rather than just reading. So for your enrichment activity, you can research for famous types of play, classify them according to subgenre, and try and identify 
the different elements of the play you have researched about. You can learn more by visiting our references.